Yay, no copics, no problem on video. So you can see how I do it here. I'm going to be coloring this kitty. My images from High Hopes stamps in Canada, they're really awesome for watercoloring. So most of my watercoloring is done with them. So I'm going to start with my lightest color. I'm choosing Creamy Caramel. And I'm just going over my image here. I'm not worrying about coloring everywhere because you can easily blend it into or with your aqua painter and then you just take your aqua painter and start moving the ink around you need a minimum of 140 pound uh, cold press watercolor paper I have tried using the cheap stuff from Walmart the 90 pound and it just does not move the ink around so the the better and the higher your higher number of watercolor paper you use the better your blending is going to be for your images and it just makes it a whole lot prettier for watercoloring as you can tell I'm not too concerned about how it's blending right now because I'm going to be adding more color and, and adding more dimension as I go. So now I want to shade him and I'm using Close to Cocoa and I'm putting the colors in where you can see natural shadow lines or where there would be shadows like under his arm there would be a shadow and same with under the present and under his belly and around his foot, behind his tail, just where you think there would be natural shadows, that's where you're going to be adding more color and darker color. And then you take your aqua painter and you move that ink around. Don't worry if there's a little bit of white in your image that, you know, doesn't get much color because white draws the eye and creates more more dimension so it's almost better if you don't color everything in Now you can also remove ink from the images and I'll show you that in a little bit because I've basically put down the right amount so far. I guess that comes with learning. So there's my little guy here and he's shaded in. Now we're going to do the balloons. on them in bright colors. Now, the darker the color, the less ink you put down because you get a lot of color spreading around. So you want to draw off the browns on your scrap paper so that brown doesn't get in your balloon. And you start spreading your color around for your balloon here. Now I don't want as much color up here, so I'm just going to start moving it down, moving it away, and then I take off the excess with my finger, just so that I don't put it back onto my image. You can also use paper towel, but for me I like using my fingers because it's right there. I don't have to reach for anything. No, I have not had any watercolor schooling. I've taken no art classes. This is just from learning on my own. So you know it's possible that you can do it yourself. This 
The nice thing about an aqua painter is the water's right in there, so whenever you get a little bit of dry brush, then you don't have to dip in a cup. You can just squeeze your brush and you have more water right when you need it. Taking away some of the pink from up here. Always better to start with less and add more as you go along. You can still remove it, but you can only remove so much, so that's how you do that. off before I put any more on the card. Now, like I said, the darker the color, the less ink you put on. So right here, I am only inking up the bow and the ribbon. On the present, I'm gonna have the whole thing be blue, but for now, I'm just gonna ink that up there and spread it around. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial on No Copics, No Problem.